Well, good morning, XCD. Day three of our coastal tour, December 28th, 2019. Just leaving Myrtle Beach, heading up to Wilmington, North Carolina. Uh, it was a wonderful stay here. Turns out the place that I ended up staying was uh, a little bit north of all of the touristy areas in Myrtle Beach, which is really nice. Seems to be a little bit more of the older section of uptown, but nonetheless, very nice. <laughs> So um, I, I've seen this in the uh, convenience stores, everyone's what's called chair wine. And it's, uh, I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's like a cherry soda, but had to had to try it, try new things. Yep, that's exactly what it is. It's kind of like a cherry cream soda. Probably won't get another one, but while I'm here. So funny little interaction there. I'm in, uh, in there paying for my my cheer wine and uh there's this african-american gentleman in front um getting his lottery tickets and he's just giving the the girls behind the counter they're both african-american to a hard time he's like short a penny he's like he's like i'm sure you guys got a penny back there and uh she goes hey, we, we don't have no pennies back there he goes i know you got a penny back there he goes she goes you don't know my business <laughs> she's they're just going back and forth it's funny and so when I get up there to pay for my uh, for my soda, I give them a penny. I go here, here's a penny. She goes, oh, thank you. <laughs> and then I I had my uh, Lotto America lottery ticket that I wanted to see if they could check for me. And they looked at that and they're like, well, we don't sell that. And um, I said, oh, I said I bought it before I got on the plane in New Mexico, and I just wanted to see if you guys could check it for me. And they're like. New Mexico and one of the ladies go she goes you don't look like you're from New Mexico and the other lady goes that don't matter you don't have to look like he's from there to be from there <laughs> I just thought that was really funny well we're coming into Wilmington North Carolina big river town here pretty cool um, it is a freaking beautiful day here I just um, change into shorts and flip-flops so onward to the beach so I am on Highway 210, just going through Surf City, North Carolina. It's the about the first real road that's going to take me right along the um, ocean. It's been almost three days of coastal driving, which has been mainly inland. Because there's a lot of rivers and marshland between the uh, actual ocean and major roads and stuff so this will be kind of cool we'll get to actually see a little bit of real uh, ocean coastal driving So this is what I came to see. This is absolutely gorgeous. Straight ahead is the ocean. I'm in Surf City, just coming over a bridge that um, over that goes over the inland here. Oh man, this this is what it's about right here. My coastal tour. This is why I go every year or twice a year. It's to see and experience and enjoy this. This is freaking awesome. Well, here we are enduring about to enjoy Surf City, right up over the sand dune here, there, the, the beautiful ocean, Atlantic Ocean, as far as the eye can see, love it, here we are at Surf City, I'm gonna go partake of the ocean, for which I've come to. It's a little chilly. A little chilly. <laughs> Here we go. Here comes the water. Coming on in. That's an outswell. It's coming back in in just a second. Here we go. <laughs> Not too bad. Not too bad at all.
Here it is, baby. A single wide with a garage right across from the beach. to a hotel <laughs> up off of 210 and 17. Okay, cool, thanks. So I just talked to one of my buddies, um, but uh, I'm sorry, so we're not allowed to let you know. Thanks, man. Happy holidays. Thanks for your service. Well, I had checked online today and it said that 172 runs through Camp Lejeune. It's a public road. Thought I could take that way, so now I'm going to have to detour way up around just to get um, across and then I'll have to cut back down. So it's a bit of an unexpected detour, but it's a beautiful day and I'm quite a bit ahead of schedule. So just make it work. Where are we? Carteret County. So we're on the Cameron Langston Bridge. This is going to take us over to this little island peninsula. I guess it's an island. And we're going to be driving about 20 miles up this little island until we get to Atlantic Beach, which is my third night stay. So beautiful, beautiful. So here we are on Atlantic Beach, North Carolina, and I'm almost to my hotel, just called the Palm Suites. There it is. So I'm in the second oldest town in North Carolina, established in 1722, Beaufort. And, uh, Kind of a little island town. Well, here I am on the dock here in Beaufort. Beautiful sunset again here, December 28th. Well, it's December 29th, 2019, and I'm headed to Cedar Island to catch a ferry up to a part of the North Carolina island chains, Ocracoke, Cataracts. Lots of churches out this way. I have a reservation. Sure. Okay, thanks so much. Have a nice day. Happy holidays. Well, that was pretty cool. I am second in line. 
this year they had a uh, hurricane and I want to say that this is damage from the hurricane you can see the roof is damaged this is a motel here and it looked like it got a pretty good pounding from the um, from the hurricane lots and lots of damage unfortunately I feel sorry for this business owner so here I am down on the shoreline of Cedar Island um, just behind me over here is where they will be loading up the cars um, you can kind of see it over there it's where the ferry loads up the cars unloads the cars uh, very I don't know this is just a very interesting kind of beach I've been on I've been on a lot of coastlines and this to me is kind of like the beginning of the um, the northeast coast where it's a little bit colder a little bit more rocky and it's just so interesting it's so quiet and desolate here <laughs> it's a little impending from the last hurricane that they had so i don't know maybe that's the feeling that i'm getting i'm in line here to board the cedar island ferry never been on a car ferry before so this will be a new experience for me thanks which way do we go Interesting. Very interesting. All right, cool. Fun, fun. <laughs> best seat on the best seat in the house, right here from my car. On behalf of the state of North Carolina, I would like to welcome you aboard the motor vessel Cedar Island. on the Cedar Island Ferry and um, it's really cool um, just being able to sit in your car and look at the ocean I mean this is the ultimate coastal tour <laughs> travel I'm in a car but I'm on the water so this is it's kind of funny you, you can kind of feel a little bit of the sway of the boat a little feeling of seasickness um, which I don't usually have when I get out and actually walk around on the boat it, it doesn't um, I don't get that feeling at all but it's just a little odd being seated in your car um, <laughs> and everything's kind of a uh, kind of tipsy-turvy so my Garmin doesn't quite know what to do here he's my car is swimming in the middle of the ocean <laughs> we are just coming into the island of Ocracoke say this has probably been the highlight of my of my trip to um, the East Coast on this coastal tour. Drop. 
dry land. We made it. Let's go explore Ocracoke. Welcome to Ocracoke Island. Pretty cool, man. What a cool little island. This is where I would love to have a Lamborghini. This is really cool. This was hit by a hurricane this year, and it was not known whether this would um, even be open. The ferry, the ferry service was was down. In fact, you can look straight ahead, and there's looks like some remnants of the stuff that was um, from the hurricane. This car got turned over. Crazy stuff. I'm gonna head out to the lighthouse. Gotta love the lighthouse. So the lighthouse is straight ahead there. I am here at Ocracoke Island, um, over by the Ocracoke Island Lighthouse that was in use since 1823. Ocracoke Island and a beautiful lighthouse. Wow. All dressed up for the holidays with the wreath on the top up there. Pretty fantastic, man. So I kept seeing the three letters OBX, and now I understand it means Outer Banks. I had some Outer Banks seafood the other night, which consisted of scallops, shrimp, and oysters. It was very good. This, uh, this is a lot bigger than I thought it was. It's a lot, there's a lot more houses, a lot more residential than what I had anticipated. I thought it was going to be very small, uh, kind of like Cedar Island. There's a lot of devastation here from the hurricane. In my Lambo, I had opened it up right here. <laughs> Ferry Ocracoke to Hatteras. So we're just pulling up to the um, Hatteras Ferry Terminal here in Hatteras, uh, North Carolina. And then we'll drive about 45 minutes up the um, peninsula here until we get to Nags Head. Watching football on a Sunday afternoon is awesome. However, drinking a Guinness Stout with the ocean at your back, watching football is even better. Cheers. <laughs> <laughs> 